Whether it's a lager or an ale Whether it's a stout, light, dark, or pale If you can brew it, Chad can review it It's time for Chad's Beer Reviews He's not quite an amateur, not quite a connoisseur But regardless of the brewer, he's got taste in beer for sure You can tell just by his gut, this guy is a bone of by beer night So whether it's a porter or an IPA Whether it's from Europe or the USA If you can brew it Chad can review it. It's time for Chad's Beer Reviews. Hey, welcome to our episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. It's a beautiful summer day out, even though it's technically still spring. Uh, I thought I'd break out the camera, go outside for a weekday uh, beer review. Which hopefully it'll be a little quieter than it usually is. Uh, we're drinking a beer that was sent to me from Hog. 40305 down in Florida. This is Terrapin Rye Squared. Um, what's interesting is that it says Imperial Pale Ale, but Beer Advocate and Rate Beer both consider it an, a double IPA. It says, uh, with twice the malt, twice the hops, and twice the flavor of Terrapin's award-winning Rye Pale Ale, the Rye Squared teaches you a lesson in good taste. Great beer, it's elementary. Uh, I also printed off this thing off their website. It's 8.5% ABV, uh, 80, 80 IBUs. That's pretty bitter there. Uh, uses a lot of malts and hops. Two row pale, Munich malted rye, Victory malt, honey malt, and hops. It's Magnum, Fuggle, East Kent, Golding, Cascade, and it's dry hop with Amarillos. Using my USS Wasp 2005 holiday party pint glass. I'm Wearing my Navy uh, workout clothes, I'm actually going to work out after this beer review. Well, I mean, not immediately after, but, you know, sometime this afternoon. So, um, as for the appearance, I mean, that's typical double IPA. It's, you know, burnt umber, dark orange, maybe even copper. Uh, yeah, it's like, it's even like a, maybe you can even call it light brown. Uh, didn't get a whole lot of head there. Probably could have poured it a little harder, but it's a eggshell, yellowish, frothy. Not a whole lot of aroma in there. I mean, I was getting some kind of citrusy hops just as I pulled my nose away. It smell. It smells pretty dry. I mean, I, I would attribute that to the rye. Um, a lot of rye beers, they just they smell dry, they taste dry, they finish dry. You know, it's it's smelling like like a very uh, I guess kind of floral IPA. So let's we'll see how it tastes. Well, it's a pretty big beer, all right. Pretty, real bold flavor. It's uh, up front. It's like a thick, syrupy kind of dry pine that you get in a lot of East Coast IPAs. Terrapin's out of Georgia, so it doesn't really surprise me they lean more towards the East Coast style. And it finishes with like kind of a citrusy, cleaner hop, but it's still very thick. Yeah, those hops, they linger for a little bit. It's it's kind of like a dryness, a general dryness I would attribute to the rye. Um, I mean, it doesn't taste like rye per se. I mean, I've had a couple of rye beers that tasted like liquid rye bread. I don't really get that here. I guess it's leaving kind of like a rye bread aftertaste. Real thick, real very noticeably malty. Um, you know, real tasty. It's bordering on it's it's kind of one of those more syrupy, you know, real thick IPAs. Um, which I mean, it, which the nice thing about that is that it's easy in the mouth. I mean, it's not very carbonated at all, um, so it's very soft and gentle in the mouth. The bitterness doesn't really come until you uh, finish it, and the hops linger for a little bit, but then they, they fade away. Yeah, I'm getting more of a maltiness, and more of the malted rye now. Not so much the citrusy hops anymore, it's very, uh, just straight up, you know, the hop uh, cone. Sticky. Sticky, resiny, thick, kind of syrupy. Not not very crisp. You know, I like a b little more crisper, a cleaner uh, kind of IPA, a little more citrusy. 
Not that there's anything wrong with this, but it's just a, you know, it's a pretty big IPA. Drinkability is pretty good, though. I mean, I can, I can get this down, no problem. The good thing about this is that the bitterness isn't too intense. I mean, it's it's much more balanced as East Coast IPAs tend to be. So you're getting like a malt sweetness, maybe even like a caramel sweetness in there. Uh, or butterscotch. It's it's like that super rich candy kind of sweetness. Um, yeah, I mean I like it, but it's not you know knocking my socks off. Um, I like the the hops executioner a little bit better than this. So I'm gonna go seven out of ten for Terrapin Rye Squared. It's a good beer. Um, you know, lots of things to like about it. Not much to dislike. Um, it's just not really to my particular taste, but I, I enjoyed it, and I would definitely recommend it. So, thanks again to Hog40305 for the beer, and that's the last beer of from the beer trade, and that's this is the last beer review for uh, season nine. So I guess I'm gonna be taking a break for a while, but that remains to be seen. So, anyways, uh, I'll I'll end this now because I'm rambling. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Somebody brewed it. Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's beer review. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better. <laughs> <laughs>